So you think your life is unbalanced and any moment things can all fall apart. You know who else feels like this? When someone experiences a close your eyes and jump moment before taking a plunge. By the way, I'm not here talking about you feeling centered or not here. Inner balance, nutritional balance, these are suddenly important. I'm talking about that gnawing feeling inside that all aspects of one's life are not well balanced. Not talking about counterbalancing the polarity either. Come to think of it, any form of balancing is a never ending act. For example, when you look at a tightrope walker, she appears to be walking flawlessly on the rope with no effort. But the truth of the matter is, her whole body and continuously her mind is making micro adjustments to remain balanced on the rope. And doing that consistently in our daily life can create overwhelming amount of stress. Also, magic never happens in the middle. If you think that balance lies in the middle, then out of balance is somewhere away from the middle, right? But the paradoxical fact of life is that if you stick your whole life in the middle, nothing extraordinary happens usually. There lies the mediocrity in it and deep research, passion, goal, uh, productivity, all these things lie far away from the safety of that middle. They lie at the extremes. They lie at the extremes. They lie at the We see the successful entrepreneur who works all the time. The athlete who doesn't have any other time apart from his sport. Though nowadays in an Indian cricket, we get to see a lot of cricketers are going for Insta Live, but usually no. The freelancer who can't spend even an hour without checking her emails. Or the devoted parent who squarely pushes back any extra hour of official work just because now it's family time. They all operate in extremes. And all of them are successful in where they want to be successful. But they are not operating in the middle. They are extreme. Think about the dream job where you know that the demands of JD is a stretch on your skill set and you apply anyway because you want to take a chance on your potential and luck. That mountain you are about to climb for which no amount of preparation feels enough and things largely hang on a thread. The person you are about to express your emotions when you are not same person certain of mutual interest or you get underwater first time amid cyclone without knowing swimming because you strongly feel that you need to explore the untapped promise of its beauty. The truth is, even if a professional diver will be there to help, that awareness isn't enough during all such big moments of life which involves crucial decisions or decisions with outcomes that matter to us a great deal in that moment. We can't rely on any reasoning, any use case and rationality to decipher the right thing to do because if we think about those things, fear, uncertainty and doubts will creep in and all logic will vote for non-action. And no matter how much you try to feel centered at your core, that very moment propelling you towards a desirous outcome invariably will lead you to those few blind moments of supreme imbalance before you make that final leap of faith. In short, we feel terribly unbalanced before any major breakthrough, whether it leads to a favorable outcome or not, notwithstanding. Any moments that are going to matter to us are inherently charged with unbalanced currents. So if balance is at the center stage of our life, we will consciously evade all such ripe with possibilities moments out of fear of losing that balance. Essentially, that means settling for an ordinary life where we hide in the middle and wonder why nothing exceptional ever happens. Now, I don't mean that such moments of supreme imbalance always leads to anything exceptional or never leads to anything horrible. In fact, that's the primary reason we fear losing balance. We feel that we will lose all control over our life, a control that we never had completely at the first place. What we have when we focus on balance to a great extent is a strong and false sense of control over our lives. Promotion may not happen this year because you don't want to go all guns blazing because the family member needs you more 
or that particular trip may not take place because you are single mindedly focused towards developing an app both can work out if you can remain focused uh, to work harder and continually adjust but if you are not okay with either of them getting into a back burner and want to juggle both it usually becomes a journey of lowering guilt with reduced payoffs when you feel like you are sacrificing something you can salvage uh, but usually with diminished satisfaction actually you are not okay with the trade off so i think more importantly we should ask ourselves what to do and how to go about this journey of life when we know that the perfect balance is unachievable regular to this channel and have already seen couple of wildlife videos before and wondering why i am venturing into a different territory first of all let me tell you that the wildlife and travel videos will keep on coming i just feel that it's not enough to talk about how birds seek safety of the center but this selfish herd mentality makes the center unbalanced during marmoration nobody will be able to connect or enjoy such a video if they are disturbed due to the imbalances or parts of the imbalances in their own life I know that for viewership, especially at the very beginning phase of your uh, channel's growth, it's always a recommended practice to create video on a specific niche and bombard YouTube algorithm with that particular subject till the algorithm picks up that this is the topic you are making your videos on. Uh, but I think I would be confining myself and also will do injustice to my viewers if I just uh, restrict myself with a singular theme and uh, and don't give ourselves a chance to connect in a more wholesome manner. and i'm not even going to attempt uh, any balance here with this because i believe impact is act never happens with balance so yes if you are new here or you're to be new to this channel i would request you to go and check my playlist uh, for interesting subjects going back to the original discussion it's normal to give up on certain things to be successful in life because we are dealing with limited time but if those things are our health loved ones uh, our sense of peace our integrity then eventually none of this accomplishments can make us happy uh, even though it can certainly give us temporary high act of balancing is achieved by knowing when to pursue the middle and when to pursue the extremes in all areas at all time and that's because the perfect sweet spot in the middle doesn't exist in short your life is unbalanced because there is nothing called ideal balance the acting safety of the center will actually make your life even more unbalanced 
counterintuitive, but think about it and share your thoughts in the comment. Having said that, I don't mean that inner equilibrium and harmony aren't possible even when life is out of work. If we release the energy of our core emotions, for example, displaying anger when we are actually feeling angry, laughing when we genuinely want to laugh, or crying our heart out in grief, usually we'll keep our inner balance regulated as there's a flow or a movement. Just like nature goes through many cycles like a carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle, our inner cycle also similarly needs to be functional. We don't have to over-index balance in life, in my opinion. When our inner cycle is stagnant, that's what creates all sorts of issues. Also, just because someone appears very calm, very sorted, doesn't mean that their life is balanced or they are balanced as individuals. I know it's complicated. So if you feel that your life is complicated, I made another video for you. Click the link to watch it and I'm going to present a big picture there. So have a good day.